welcome to my channel, Who's That Girl? I'm That Girl, and if you're new, hello! Uh, I just got back from Salem, Massachusetts, and we went to the thrift store Savers, which we don't have that here in New York. If we do, I've never been to it, so we got a lot of things. When I say we, I mean me and my mom. So I'm going to start first with, um, like housey decorated things we got a lot of those because there were so many and they were really pretty so the first thing i have is this like cage it's like a cage shelf this is my mom's she loves these like bird cages things so we got this one i don't know how much this one was the price is not on it but it was probably like four dollars because that was around the price the price range of the stuff then i got then I got this like horse merry-go-round just ornament. Um, I have a, two other ones, well, three other ones that I've got from a flea market, so I'm kind of like collecting them. And this one was $3.99, and it's just super cute. This one is a little more faded than my other three. This like this one, like, the other ones I have are unicorns. This one's just a regular horse, and the pastels are like much more faded, but it's still super pretty and i love them i love the like little cute vintagey little girl vibe they give then i got this um jewelry box which i don't know who these kids are this one was 4.99 um you can like insert a picture here so i'll probably do that and this is it comes with a nice mirror and this is how the inside looks has a slot for your rings and whatever other else you want to put in there so I'll probably just put like rings that don't fit in my smaller ring box and maybe earrings I don't know I don't know but I'm trying to like have my jewelry and like things that are closed because I have them kind of all hanging up my necklaces but I want my earrings to be in closed cases so that's why I got this one and this one is my mom's it's a silver like kind of reflective case and inside is all velvet it's like this dark blue velvet really pretty like this just this looks like a little coffin to me so i like it but that one's for her and all of these three pieces were separated on different shelves but they look like a set um they all have this is this is, yeah this is definitely a set um they all look similar so the first thing is like this little cup this was 199 and the detail on it is so beautiful it's i don't know if it's supposed to be like iron or cast iron no not cast iron just play iron and it's so pretty and i saw this one i feel like putting like little flowers in it as a decorative piece would be really cute and then this part was like on another side of the shelf but it looks like the designs are crazy similar and they're both white so this had to be a set they were just selling it separately and this one was 149 and inside just a little red velvet case and it reminds me of that movie it reminds me of that movie Anastasia and she had like a the music box so that's what this one reminds me of and then there was this tray that is also the like the rim around it has the flowers and the rose designs that look exactly like the other two this one was also 149 and it's just a cute tray and when you put them all together they look like a cute family Ooh. Okay, the last um, accessory type thing or decorative piece is this big case. This one's for my mom. I saw it. I was like, girl, you gotta get it. It was $9.99. She has something similar that are smaller. She has a lot of these. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's in such good condition too. Like, it's barely scratched and it you can't even notice it. It's this beautiful dark wood. So, okay. It comes in a lot of different pieces. Well, it comes in a lot of, it opens differently. So you got the top part that has a mirror and it's heavy inside it has the ring holders and a little velvet then these doors i mean come on how cute is that it looks like for a doll it has it on both sides these little closets it has Oh, trying to hold it. Okay. Then it has one, two, one, two, three, four, four drawers, and they're all like long, and they're just like velvety looking inside. And oh, this one has two. That's this 
one. This one I really like. Okay. Um, I think that's... Yes, that's everything. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the clothes. I'll move on to these pair of pants because I love these pants. I think these are so cute, but they don't fit just yet. Like, almost, but not there yet. Like, I can't get them all the way up my legs. But I'm determined to fit in these because I think they're so cute and... They remind me of Avril Lavigne, so I really want to put them on. But they're just like, they're from the brand Tilt. And from like the tag, it definitely looks like a children's brand. Like a teen, preteen brand from like earlier, like earlier 2000s. Like that's exactly like what that tag looks like. And it looks so good. It's in great condition. It was in the, um, the section where they have the nurses clothes like the scrubs but I'm like these are not scrub pants or maybe they are I don't know okay so the belting part has a little string that you could tighten it but it also has belt hoops it has pockets in the front and in the back and on the side portion portion right here and it has just little details oh it also has pants here it's like a cargo pant but it's in this Material, I don't know what it's called, but it's definitely that material that they always put little kids in, I guess because it's breathable. It's really cute and it's like wide leg. This is just so damn cute. I just am so mad at my legs because I can't fit in them, but I will. Those are cute. Another item that fits, but it's kind of tight, but it's okay because I'm working out, so it'll look better. Sometimes, like if I'm at the thrift store, I don't mind buying an item that fits a little tight because <clears throat> it was at the thrift store and I'm like okay I'm like working out anyway because I have like a certain goal weight that I want to be so I know like it's almost fits or it fits is just a little uncomfortable like it'll be better in like a month or whatever so this is one of those pieces it like looked fine but right here with the denim part it wasn't stretchy so that was tight but I thought this was really cute it had the denim up here in like a square neckline I really like that and then it like flared out into this cotton material and there's no snags on it and it has these cute little buttons I think it's cute this one was $9.99 oh the pants were $6.99 and okay this sweater I'm actually glad my mom got it <laughs> I saw it and I was like oh I want it because I have these little Scalanimal plushies and when they first came out I wanted them like I wanted the clothing so bad when I was younger but I just never got it because of whatever reason maybe they didn't have my size I don't know but I have the plushies and I saw this and I was like oh I want to get it and then I got so mad that the pants didn't fit me I just didn't want to buy anything but my mom got it thank goodness so that's good it was the only thing there I've never seen any of like the Scalanimal clothes in thrift stores and they don't sell them anymore they still sell the the plushies but like, you can buy the plushies on, like, Amazon, but you can't buy the clothing. I guess you could, but... This one was an extra large, so it's going to fit nice and comfy. And it has two little cat ears on the hood. And it's very, like, Halloween colors. Purple and greens and oranges. And it has all the little skull animals on them with barbed wires. And it's super cute. And I can't wait for Halloween. I want it to be 70 degrees all year round so that I can wear whatever the fuck I want but during Halloween. This next item is not for us, it is for my cousin Amanda. Um, she's littler, <laughs> she's smaller so this is a size small so she'll fit in this perfectly and it's a denim, okay it's a denim jacket and in the front it has that like not corsetting but kind of like the marching band in the front how that looks that's kind of what this reminds me of like the black parade like that music video that's what it looks like and then on the sleeves it has kind um it kind of looks like stitching but it's just like uh what is this material it's like it looks like shoelace just like regular cotton going in and out but it looks kind of like a stitch the back has this cool detail also and this at the cuff of the sleeves there's lint. It's black lace with this velvet and stud detail like the back and then it has buttons that have skulls on them. So it's in the cart, right? And I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is really cute. 
and then I see the zipper and I'm like wait that looks like a trip zipper and it is and then I look at the tag and it's trip NYC so this is like vintage trip NYC you're welcome Amanda and this one was $14.99 then the other few things we got in like the suit section my mom's obsessed with suits and she doesn't really like go thrifting with me I usually go with my other cousin um, so she wasn't really like, really into it. She didn't really care. But then we got into the suits section, and she was all like, she was way into it now because she likes suits and she likes um, making them unique. So the first like suit jacket is this pretty black one. Um, I, I'll show you like them on so you can see it better. But it doesn't have the traditional collar, and it has like this interesting stitching all throughout it. It's so hard to show. Let me stand up. So, button it up, it looks really nice. See, it has like this nice stitching, piping. What is that? Not piping, that's in cakes, but the way they decorated it. They have a lot of detail. And of course, it has shoulder pads. I don't mind. I don't mind shoulder pads, but it don't need to be in everything. This jacket, I love so much I was literally dreaming about it and like how to style it or oh, I might steal it from her uh, but this one it looks kind of like brown on camera but it's black with red stripes and look at the collar it has this red outline here super pretty um, the buttons the buttons are okay but it would be cool to like switch them out but these are okay they're like fake rhinestones and yep it has this piping detailing also on the cuffs right here where you button what is this called on a jacket this also has pockets do they work nope it's fake wait yes they do have pockets but you gotta like unstitch it I really like that they kept this red line outline detail throughout the whole jacket I think this looks so darn cute again very black parade very my chemical romance uh, very like Dracula that's what it reminds me of other jacket is more like the jacket you put over your suits so it kind of looks quilted it looks ex um, like the a jacket I got at H&M before but this one was only $3.99 oh shit that was a lot cheaper than the other ones beautiful black velvet dress it has this like satiny thing by the boobs and it is long just goes all the way down and in the back has a slit but you won't be able to see that right now without me putting it on super pretty this looks like you'd wear on the Titanic before it sank. This didn't have a tag on it, and the lady was like, oh, we can't sell it to you without a price tag, and I'm thinking, like, just give it a price, who cares? So I went back, and I was looking on the floor for, like, any price tag, and I saw a price tag that said, like, 14 I think, 12 or $14, and it was, like, women's ca um, formal wear, so that's, like, a formal dress, so I gave it to her, I was like, here, here, girl, why are you trying to take away my happiness? A penny just fell. Oh, I forgot about this dress. Okay, another dress real quickly. This is the last dress. It is a button-up dress. It buttons all the way. You'll see it in the try-on. I'll do the try-on, but like it buttons all the way down. And I like it. The last jacket is another unique collar. And this one is black with white stripes but they're very subtle so you can't really see two items are t-shirts from the men's section got this oversized shirt that has this cool detail on it it's from hard rock hotel and casino in tampa i've been to the hard rock um cafe and i've been to tampa so i basically like i should own that shirt and this shirt, I really like the the font. It's like that metal font. But I don't know what it says. And I like that it's lime green. Like a bright green. But I don't know what it says. It definitely says tea something. Te tequila? That was the end of my Salem Savers haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Peace.